Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I am Dr. Group, also known as Dr. Detox. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is the gut health, gut immune health, and the system. Why is it that your gut is so important to keep a strong immune system? Most people, whenever they hear about immune system, they just think white blood cells or uh, natural killer cells or your own internal army that's sitting there fighting off any type of harmful organisms. But over the last, let's say, 10 years, uh, more and more research has come out to show that your immune system is highly connected to your gut. Now, science is stating that 70% of your immune system actually lives in your gut. And I've been saying that for like 20 years. It's just when we came up with the root cause of disease 20 years ago, there was barely any studies on the microbiome, on gut health. Um, I've always said after we finished that research that all health begins in the gut and all disease begins in the gut. And a weakened gut ecosystem can wreak havoc on your ability to eliminate the toxins that you're putting in your system every single day to fight off any type of bugs and any type of harmful organisms that may be in invading your system. So today I'm going to teach you three simple ways to strengthen your gut health so you can be strong and have a resilient immune system. Before I forget, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be coming out with more information on detoxifying, fasting even, simple ways to make uh, remedies, and just ways that you can change your environment and create a healthy and happy lifestyle for yourself. So today, more and more people are beginning to really understand and pay attention to their diet and what they're exposing themselves to on a regular basis. But there's still a lot of misinformation out there about gut health. There's still hardly any testing. Like if you go to your doctor's office, most likely they're not even going to test gut health. They're just going to run some blood work, run some urinalysis, and come up with a diagnosis so they can put you on medications. There's not too many people out there that are actually teaching you how to nurture your gut. Your gut's like a garden. You plant a seed, you feed it clean water, clean food, and it grows into a beautiful vegetable or a beautiful fruit. Your gut is basically millions, trillions and trillions and trillions, pounds worth of organisms, probiotics, and, and unique ecosystem that flourishes when you give it the right things to flourish. So the number one way to improve the health of your gut is through cleansing the gut. Did you know that your intestinal tract is 35 feet in length? You have about 25 feet of small intestine and you have about 10 feet of large intestine. If you stretch that out and cut it open, it's the size of a tennis court. That's the surface area. So what you're putting in and what you're coating along the linings is very important. Most people are dehydrated. They're not drinking enough water. So you cannot build a strong foundation or let's say a strong house on a weak foundation. But by cleansing your gut on a regular basis, you can keep your gut healthy and you can keep those toxins moving through and you can keep the repair mechanism and keep your probiotics and keep the good health of your gut intact. Now, I use a product. I actually developed a product called Oxy Powder. That's what I use for my own gut cleansing. That was actually originally developed by Nikola Tesla. Yes, the genius scientist. He wanted to develop something that would keep people's guts clean and healthy for a long period of time. And he actually developed it in 1898 in a hotel room with a guy named Dr. Eugene Bloss. I uh, was fortunate enough to work with some of Tesla's understudies. Arthur Matthews was Tesla's understudy. And George Freebot was the understudy of Arthur Matthews and Larry Royce and myself. And we, you know, were lucky enough to get uh, a lot of that research and uh, develop uh, the true oxygen-based intestinal cleansers. There's a lot of fakes out there, but Tesla's 
original formula will release oxygen into your intestines in a slow release over a period of 72 hours and even more. And those oxygens will chew up and release any type of hard, compacted fecal matter that you may have had or you may have in your intestines for years and years and years and years. I mean, surgeons now are cutting out intestines that have 20, 30, 40 pounds worth of impacted fecal matter lodged inside of their system. Uh, so the first step to a healthy gut is cleansing. And I recommend cleansing on a regular basis to keep that toxic buildup out of the system. You know, right now, people are eating way too much. You have carbohydrates that are fermenting. You have fats turning rancid and, carbo and uh, proteins that are turning putrefactic in your system. If you don't get them out fast, that's what happens. And when that happens that creates more toxicity in your intestinal tract. Cleansing is like hitting the reset button. I mean, you change your oil in your car, you clean your kitchen at night after you're finished cooking, um, you wash your clothes. I mean, we live in a society, even the earth cleanses itself. But the one thing, the secret that the medical profession hopes you never find out is that the power of detoxification and cleansing can prevent disease and it can also eliminate multiple symptoms that you might be suffering from if you're currently suffering from any type of disease. Now, the second way to strengthen your gut is to give the gut what it wants, good prebiotics and probiotics. Unfortunately, we don't have our own garden, so we don't go out and pick our own fruit and eat it and it has a little bit of dirt on it and it's very effective for us. So in, this, in today's society, because we eat so many toxic processed foods, we consume so many chemicals uh, through the water, through the beverages, through alcohol, through genetically modified foods, through preservatives, through herbicide and pesticide residue, glyphosate, all of these different chemicals and toxins that we consume, guess what? Those chemicals and toxins kill the good bacteria, just like it's killing the earth, you know, killing the soil. So my second tip is make sure that you consume probiotics every single day. It's vital to keep replenishing the probiotics. You know, people are on medications. Uh, one round of antibiotics, it can take six to eight months to completely restore the probiotic balance in your gut. So it's very important to, um, to have a good balance because those good probiotics in your gut also fight off. They fight off all the harmful organisms that might come in. They create balance. Everything in life is about balance. And that's what prevents and strengthens your immune system, prevents disease, but strengthens your immune system at the same time when you have a good balance of all those probiotics in your gut and you have those colonies and those armies in there that are working for you to make you a healthier person. All right, so uh, your body's immune system um, will rely heavily upon not only the balance of probiotics, but what the probiotics secrete. Did you know that probiotics secrete B vitamins? They secrete all kinds of different compounds and, 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 and enzymes and different things that can strengthen your immune system every single day, especially in the times that we've been in, um, in my life where we've had, uh, more cases of the flu. We've had uh, biological uh, attacks. We've had uh, different types of pandemics. We've had uh, unknown diseases. We've had candida overgrowth. We've had an attack from different types of harmful organisms on our body. It's extremely uh, necessary for us to take care of ourselves and keep our immune systems strong. Now, Part of the way that you do that is my third tip, which is eating really healthy, clean, organic foods. It's, it goes back to giving yourself what you need nutritionally to keep your immune system strong. 
But not only that, giving those probiotics, giving that microbiome, the soil, the vitamins, the nutrients, the vibrations, the living vibrations of foods, not dead foods, but more live foods, organic foods that are GMO free, that are pesticide free, that are insecticide free. Try to eat as many raw live foods as you possibly can with your probiotics. Um, and, and more than that, you know, with age, with lifestyle, with different types of medical conditions, try to eat in a mindful state. Uh, try to eat when you're not in a stressful state. Uh, that's one of the things that we've been researching for years is how food affects the body, but how your mental state affects the food while you're eating and affects digestion. And we know that if, if most people today are eating while they're watching TV or we're looking at their iPhone or driving or sitting in front of their computer, and that all affects your ability to break down, process, and digest food. Not only that, but most people are eating too much food. Okay, back in the 40s and 50s and the 60s, the hygienic doctors would say, uh, even back then we were eating too much food. So we should only really have two small meals a day, maybe one small meal a day, and that's plenty enough food for our body to handle. 90% uh, of our energy that we produce every single day goes to digestion. So can you imagine if you're eating two, three, four meals a day and you're eating five times as much in each meal? That's why nobody has any energy left anymore because they're eating too much. And we're running out of the enzymes that break our meals down as well. So my third tip is eat whole, unprocessed, pure nuts, raw nuts, raw seeds, uh, fruits, vegetables. Limit your amount of meat intake. Meat will lower your vibrational energy. It's not good for you. And drink more water and avoid all of those toxic beverages, energy drinks, uh, alcohol, beer, all of the things that, uh, or just man-made juices, which are full of sugars. Sugar is another thing that you want to avoid. Gluten is another thing that you want to avoid. All of these things are going to be keeping you from losing weight and they're going to be damaging your intestinal flora. If you damage your intestinal flora, you weaken your immune system. You also make your nutrients more bioavailable if you're eating more good, organic, wholesome foods. And I like to practice intermittent fasting every now and then because intermittent fasting gives me more energy, but it also helps my body repair the tissue and regenerate. If your body's energy is focusing 90% of the time on digestion, how do you expect to heal? How do you expect to regenerate? Um, so... With that being said, the next time you go to the grocery store, take a copy of my free gut-friendly grocery list with you. Now, you can get this by clicking on the card here. And it's packed with all kinds of healthy food choices. It explains the gut immune system connection, why it's important, and you don't want to miss this. So make sure you get my free gut-friendly grocery list guide. Now, just to recap, your gut is 70% of your immune system. It's vital that you eat plant-based foods as much organic fruit, vegetables, raw nuts and seeds, as healthy as you can be. Grow your own food if you want to start your own garden. Make sure, your make sure you keep your gut cleansed on a regular basis with an oxygen-based in intestinal cleanser like Oxy Powder. And the third thing, Make sure that you're taking probiotics uh, every single day or every other day um, and change your environment and start learning how to eat more healthy, eliminating gluten, eliminating sugar from your diet as well. So there you have it. Those are three ways you can strengthen your gut and your immune system today. And remember that all health begins in the gut and you have the power, of course, you have a self-healing mechanism to create a healthy and happy life for yourself. Thank you.